Hi. Yeah, this is Brandon uh, Moyer. And I had the big, the biggest, uh, a big idea to save the world. Okay, so it starts off with a sociological theory, sort of uh, um, an equation, okay? So it's very compact to that, very sort of x equals negative 1, y equals plus 1, z equals 0. That's the great sort of equation. So this is basically, sociologically speaking, uh, a balancing out humanity's uh, ge geographic attitude, normalcy. So these are the great scales. And then there's the other one, there's another scale. It's basically like a mirror because you are one of the balancing pieces. And the other part is general happiness. Now, how, how do you balance that out? Uh, general happiness for the general equation. A uh, piece that you know humanity has been working on for a long time uh, to advance that without any wars and stuff like that. You know to have the best without any sort of mm, dirt and you know war and who knows what you know diseases and whatnot it could just that's that's like um, that's like the dream. Okay, so that's the big idea. Is the it, is the uh, sociological functionality okay? So this is very important because it affects, like uh, you know, in war, efficiency is the, your enemy. You want to explode, you know, you want the ammunition dump or whatever, you know, the, the fuel supply. You want to blow your enemies up and stuff. So you, so you have so if there's that inside a community, there's no there's there's all this chaos, um, you know. Um, we start fearing sort of like that, you know, all the religious stuff, you know, love that neighbor, oh, screw them, my aunt, they're trying to get me, <laughs> sort of, <laughs> you know, going off to Vietnam or somebody, you know, you, you might realize that going too far geographically away from your, your, your heart and soul, you know, your, your traditional cultural base, balance, uh, from the acid, the base and the acid, you know, so you're balancing that, so the acid has to be it has, it's that sort of happiness, that sort of, ooh, that little flavor at the end of the uh, evening, that acid, you know, not acid, but uh, the salt of life, you know, the, um, that was gets get stuff clean and stuff like that without actually being, you know, keeping it balanced. So you have, so they're separate and yet they're balanced. And between those separations is that energy. So basically then off of this, you have, um, a bunch of wheels, basically. It's like gears and stuff like that, you know, things that are lifting, like like our muscles and stuff like that, our mouths, words coming out, blah, blah. Uh, you know, fun, you know, I make sure you, uh, not too uh, funny knock on wood, but uh, that that's the escape valve that, that I've always noticed whenever I try to put out the truth. Everyone's like, yeah, and then blah, blah. It's always a joke to them, so like, you know, that, that's kind of the problem, right? It's like everything's a joke. Um, so I understand, you know, you got to that balance between, you know, the, the far left, that they're like totally serious and totally poor, and the far right, they're like, uh, everything's a complete joke, and they're, they're because they're happy. <laughs> um, so I understand that, that sort of balance and that there are bad people on both sides, so that's very important in general happiness. But on those wheels that are coming off, so those gears, those those muscles and stuff like that, those arms for mm, hole holding, you know, nurturing and stuff like that. Excuse me. Ice cream. Um, this is ice cream power. Uh, I like good food. Um, <clears throat> so, coming off of this, this grand equation, there are infinite other equations. So, the, the, the unified social theory is sort of like this going into this uh, this holy grail. It's it's really like that. I've explained this to many people who are go. And it's it's like basically you're taking X and you're taking Y into the holy grail and X is uh, geographic so like E T phone home and Y is, is like uh, mm, you know, why? You know? <laughs> why did that have to happen? You know, why do, uh, why do wars happen? Why do why do we uh, hostilities? So anyways, off of this comes physical technology. Uh, such as the vehicle of the future, transportation. Okay, so if you're driving, you might think, uh, oh, that guy's trying to cut, you know, they're trying to slow me down, you know. <laughs> uh, 
So really, um, the guy behind me is thinking the same thing. So, so there really should not be any driving. Okay, this is um, because in our minds, I mean, you ever walk down the street and you smell a car, you smell a antifreeze, like sort of this sort of sulfuric sort of mess coming off of the car, or maybe it's got gasoline odors coming, you know, dripping motorcycles as well. Um, well, so, so they, and I know that this, these cars are often uh, sort of sporty looking cars, looking uh, as though the person thought, oh, I can just drive like a madman now because I've got it, my car looks cool, you know, and then there, some fluids are bursting out. And so this is like all problematic of, um, of why only 5% of the time should we be driving. And 5% of the vehicles, the real sports cars, you know, clear, you know, clear the road. 50% of the time, kids playing in the road, people hanging out on the road, the whole, the whole village coming out and socializing in the road and, and walking around and then going down to the restaurant or something. Yeah, I heard that that was, that used to happen in the old days in real civilized places. Um, but now it's like, you know, one guy in his mad truck and everyone else with the remote control at home. Uh, you know, so that's, uh, so, you know, you just can't drive. So they have to have this vehicle of the future that drives itself. And it's not so much about, like, one car, you know, you press the button and you go right then. No, it's more like there's a bell's ringing and then all the cars join together. And it's like that community type of thing where you're connecting to people who you want to connect to. Not by choice, because you can't make those good... I mean, we're just animals like all the others. Um, we're mammals, whatever. Um, we cannot, you know, make these decisions, and yet we have the technology, so it can become this sort of, uh, you know, chaotic thing, because you have the technology, but you're not using it completely. You're not sort of saying, ah, oh, that's, that's where I need to be. And that's where, you know, X needs to be, the normalcy. So this grand sort of equation type stuff. And it gets really sort of abstract and, you know, poetic sort of uh, stuff because if you, know, you try to take things seriously, the next thing you know, someone's laughing at you. Uh, and then that kind of goes, you know, as a chain reaction. Um, so the, the equation of, of finding... Who needs to go where? So this is, you know, social policy is is uh, transport. Transport is social policy. So this is really, really, really important. This will help everyone um, to to be the most efficient as possible. So that's that's a uh, that's the big idea, and uh, and there's all kinds of other little other little ecological. Mm, Equation, yeah, like not equation, but unit, you know, like little components, the minimalist components, with with room to fertilize our mind into the the so social uh, functionality. That uh, you know, you only need a little bit of you know, like the sports car. It has the open road. You know, all the people are playing at one one minute, then you hear a bell, and then all this. This, um, this convoy comes down, so like all the vehicles are going down, except for 5% of the vehicles, uh, plus the 5% of commercial vehicles, you know, so they're all, all sort of, they're in a convoy, and then after that, they have like 5, 10 minutes with the sports cars, just a million miles an hour, you know, just like that, and so you're not, you're not taking away anyone's uh, ability, you're just restricting the time to prime time, okay, so like if you turn on the TV, and it just sounded like 15 you know, 20 minutes later, you had seen it all. You could, like, you know, go back outside, you know, or do your chores or whatever, whatever you have to do. Um, so that's what it's about. It's about compacting our, if, our time if, most efficiently, most harmoniously. Um, and, um, and identifying the prime, okay? So it's not just having the prime time, but it's also having the, the primes themselves. The one people who are most mm, likely to make the best decisions in the right place, the right time, and time and location, age, location, prime. Uh, I don't know. You can make all these rhymes if you go out, go off on it, right? You. Know? <laughs>
Um, so, so that's it. That's the big equation. It starts with unified social theory, and then all these other things sort of uh, gear into it. If they're not directly geared into it, they're sort of, a lot of them are poetically geared, ecology and sociology. So they're sort of, uh, you know, they're logic, logic machines, but they're like little, also minimalist little components, like the vehicle of the future would just be basically like two sofas basically facing each other. And you're not uh, you're not in a bucket seat going, oh, I'm going to drive, you know, <laughs> because that's, that's the crazy person. Those people need to be in the vehicle by themselves, going elsewhere, okay, where the real party is, you know. <laughs> I mean, uh, you, you can't be negative. I mean, that's that's the problem is with you get a bunch of people. There's a little bit of ambiguity there, and then suddenly things are are negative because. Where those primes are most likely uh, unsolved, and so we don't have prime time. We have uh, wine time or something like that. You know, or crime time. Yes, yes. So these are all realities that can uh, that can swing around. You know, and so you have to you have to this this is it's the equation that lets you do the math. So so the calculations can be done with the equation. So that's it's like the comb. It's not like uh, you know the comb, combing the uh, whatever out of the wool. Um, that's very important to do that. To say, ah, oh, look, 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 look. You know, combing, 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 and you're finding all these little things. You're saying, ah, oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> uh, but the comb itself is very simple. But it has to be systematically used, or else you're going to be like the wool is going to be. Um, Still having problems, and so getting rid of pro philosophical problems, not not eliminating problems or liquidating problems, because that's um, that's sort of our reflection that you know Hollywood. You know, you can look at Hollywood and people thought they're making great movies, and then a few years later they're like, oh, geez, that doesn't look so great. Um, so you have to have this the system that goes through first. That, that has the, it's like the decision machine, decision machine, but it's also the truth machine. So it, it's like a like a magnetic polarizer that you, you develop from the eye. That you get a few people, you teach them how to how to discern these primes. But it's it's very very fundamental because this is America, right? And NPR, and the whole world looks up to America. They look up to Superman, you know. Um, and, uh, and then sort of headbutting, sort of, uh, right? Uh, 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 so, okay, so, uh, um, so, yeah, so the world, okay, so America has the Great Divide, and either side of the Great Divide are the primes. I wanted to rhyme that. Oh, it's so hard to do that, okay. Can't rhyme everything. Uh, but, um, that's, that perhaps is the mark of the genius. I don't know, but um, <laughs> or the, or the, the um, you know, um, honesty is is uh, well. I w I went through the border crossing many times in San Diego, and I realized that you know you can't wear a red shirt. You have to wear a blue shirt and make some you know chuck you know laugh and stuff because they figure criminals don't laugh. I guess, um, or they don't go to Mexico or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, so this is, this is a fundamental theory that is, um, you can only develop it from basically being on the far side of, of the world and, uh, running with the dogs, I guess, you know, running with the pack or something like that. Uh, and realizing that they're all a bunch of dogs, you know, <laughs> or they're like, uh, they're they're up to the wrong thing. They're 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 um, uh, the primes, the the primes, the crimes, the rhymes that people are reacting. There's the you'll, they'll see something. They'll see some sympathy, some some confusion, right? And then it's just chaos from there because there's all these vested interests 
and you know, like, oh, I'm driving type of thing, well, aren't I special type of uh, um, poverty mentality, you know, emotional poverty as well as um, actual sort of, mm, well, it's not too much intellectual poverty, but, you know, fine. Physical poverty, um, whatever you know, all those sort of all those paradigms. So you you find the prime that that tightens the unit up, so that you don't have this sort of blob thing going on. You, you tighten it up, and and you realize, ah, we can we don't have to like build to the uh, the end of the world. We can um, we can make other civilizations much better, much tighter themselves by having these these unified. Uh, these prime threads, using them, realizing that they are there, and then um, without without thinking about it, because thinking is thinking. Right? You don't want to um, be like going crazy psychologically, saying, "Ooh, there's there's some sort of enemy within." Burning said, "You know, <laughs> no, there's there's simply a, a normalcy of the geography. So if anything is the enemy, it is geography. Okay, so you go too far away, and suddenly no one knows or cares about." you or or any you know they <laughs> eventually they might not care about anything because um or maybe they didn't care in the first place and now they see some new shiny toys and like oh i have to have that and where does that victim come from i want to go to where that victim came from you know that um that scapegoat type of um balance in America that, that basically has just turned over in the last hundred years with modern technology. That now we can go anywhere. Um, but it's so it's, it's just this, this equation, this will save this will change the world. It will really reform it, tighten it up, and then there's all these like the, the vehicle of the future. This one is, is really, really hot because it's a whole series and I'm trying to do the prototypes to uh, market, you know, I, I like marketing, kind of like I, I briefly studied marketing, um, but, um, and it's sort of like an art sort of thing, well, I'm, I'm not a natural artist, but I study art, so it's, uh, it's more of like an image, I guess, right, that, uh, <laughs> you're trying not to look straight at the, uh, at the, um, the, the picture, I mean, you're like, hello, anybody there? <laughs> Uh, okay, so thanks, uh, and I need a navigation system, desperately, but, uh, <laughs> it's, just, who knows, you know, who knows, that's, that's, that's the thing, okay, so, thank you.